Thank you, Madison. Keep it going for Olivia and for Jeff, would you? All right. How, how are you doing, Madison? Everybody good? Oh, man. Your college town, your perfect way of life. Go yourselves, honestly. Ah, there's a deep, dark secret here somewhere. I know there is. The, the quality of life's too good. You guys have got some kind of children of the corn, wicker man, midsummer sh** going on somewhere here. I know someone's going to slip. I'm going to go to a bakery, right? And an old lady's going to be like, here, have a muffin. I'm like, these are delicious. We use virgin blood for fresh... Oh! <laughs> now we have to bury you to the neck and cover you in ants. Like, that's going to happen. I love a college town, man. It just, it just doesn't age. You know, the old people stay weird. It's so great. It's a 90-year-old in a rainbow hat, bikini bottoms, whatever. It's a college town, man. Does any, any, um, any people my age just go to frat parties? I would. I would just take my wife and just wander in to Sigma Chi or whatever. Just wander in there. Just watching them all have mini panic attacks. Like, whose parents are these, bro? Bro. Chat, are these your parents? He's big and goofy like your dude. Is that your dad? He's so fun. Oh, yeah, Travis Scott. I love him. This is good. I get those goosebumps every time. Wrong dance. I like the mix of ages here, you know? That's my favorite thing about this town. It's great, you know, diversity of age. Not much of race, but age. <laughs> age. Let's see, who here, uh, younger than 80? Round of applause, younger than 80? All right, younger than 70? All right, younger than 60? Younger than 50? Younger than 40? Younger than 30? Younger than 25. Oh, do you hear the strength and the hope in that? Oh, just cut through the air like a knife. So much power and stamina. Looking for the future. Here I come. So great. When I started, that's pretty much everybody, right? I don't think there's an 82-year-old back there going like, F you, hey. Start from 90. But I could still hear people being like, uh, uh, not even clapping. Narrow it down to the youngest, they're like, yeah, like a rocket. Fantastic. I want to talk to you guys for a second, you young folks in the audience, you know? Just give me, I don't know, just all of a sudden became a youth pastor just now. <laughs> Let me rap to you for a second. Let me lay it down, like I learned back there in the streets. Sure, I used to kiss girls I just met on the mouth. Yeah, yeah, just met him, just met him. A real sinner. They never have that good of stories. Like, you didn't go that dark, man. Nothing really bad happened. No, I just want to talk to the youth here for a second. I just want you to know, okay, you might be like, I don't want to get old, but let me just tell you, it just gets better, okay? Physically, specifically physically, everything you feel will either maintain or improve. Trust me. You're gonna stay as loose and as lubed up as you feel right now. Rest of your life, man. Will you wake up with no headache no matter how many beers you've drank? That's never gonna change. Keep guzzling. Your hangovers will not worsen horribly to the point where you think you're having a stroke, maybe. That's not gonna happen to you. That's not gonna happen to you. Never. You're never gonna have something suddenly and horribly go wrong inside your body from nothing other than sleep, you know? Never gonna wake up and, huh, huh. Oh, that's new. Guess I walk like this now. Why is everyone at work laughing? This is how I've always walked. It's not a limp, it's a pimp strut. Screw you guys. It's never gonna happen. It's never going to happen. Of course, I'm being totally facetious. Yes, yes. Things will break down horribly. But here's the thing, they lied to us when they said your body is a temple, bullshit. 
it's a carnival, okay? <laughs> the clowns are drunk. The monkeys will throw shit at the audience. The tarp will collapse. The ringleader's on coke. Like, everything's wrong. And you have to learn to be entertained by it. You have to laugh at the little things going wrong inside your body, okay? And I'm not talking about a catastrophic illness. I'm not talking about you getting hit by a car, all right? I'm just talking about, it's just the randomness, you have to enjoy it. I'll give you an example. I was driving, I was going 85 on the highway, and I threw my neck out. <laughs> because some ass behind me had a weird horn. I'm just driving, and I hear, Help! Oh! Oh, God! I can't put my head the right way. Help! I screamed help in a closed car. Windows up. There's no intercom between cars. There's no speaker system. No one can hear me but me. I'm alone. And I just said, I have to get over to the shoulder. But I can't see in the side view. Please understand. I screamed, please understand. At the top of my lungs. To God. And the I-5. I got over on the shoulder safely. Every second, I think a semi is gonna shear my car in half. But I got over and I got out of the car laughing and crying at the same time, furiously massaging my neck. You have to, you have to laugh. 